Hi everyone, welcome to day one of our castle craft. So for today's craft you're going to need four bits of cardboard, rectangles, and they're going to be all the same size, identical in size, and you're going to need some masking tape. Masking tape is better than sellotape because we're going to be paint over at the end, so sellotape is difficult to paint over. Um, I've got the scissors here because I cut some of the cardboard. Um, I've just used the end of some boxes. Now we're going to have a go at making these, fixing them round to make our towers. And we're going to make two the same, so you will need eight pieces eventually. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the best way to make a tower is to put your four bits of cardboard together as close as you can get them. Let's turn that a little bit. And then tape down all the joins. So you want it to be like that. And then do the same for the other joins. Okay, now I'm going to put that bit of tape on the outside. This is my inside. I'm going to put some tape across to strengthen it a bit more to make sure our boxes stay together. And then you're going to stand your tower up and wrap it round. And you should have a nice rectangle shape now. Well, cuboid. And then tape down the side. Now, this might be a little bit tricky. Okay, to get that shape nicely. There you go. Make sure that it's nice and secure. If you feel that you need to, use some masking tape and wrap it around a bit more to get a bit of a stronger shape. That should be okay. And now we're going to use another four bits of card and make another one exactly the same. Okay, here's our two towers and that's today's craft. See you tomorrow. And welcome to day two of our castle craft. So today we need two more strips of cardboard and we want them to be about half the size of the towers. Okay, this is going to be our castle walls. You're going to need a pen of some sort, you're going to need scissors and your masking tape again. Okay, let's get this started. What we do is just trim off some of these ragged bits on the edge of the cardboard just to make sure that it's a nice smooth finish. But we're about our battlements yet, we'll be adding these to our castle later on. At the moment we just want two smooth rectangles. And then um, we're going to cut a door. Oh, one more thing. If you have any shiny tape, I have a bit on here actually. Um, see if you can get that off because when you paint, paint doesn't go very well on shiny tape. So you might need to peel that off and get this off. We're also going to draw a door on one of our castles. One of our castle walls, sorry. So I would draw in the middle of the wall of shape a bit like this and you want to cut all of that out with scissors now it is tough because it's a strong piece of cardboard so you might need a grown-up to help you you want a big pair of scissors and you're going to cut it out it doesn't matter if the cardboard gets a little bit bent there we go and you want so you're going to have two walls one that looks like that one that looks like that with no shiny tape on it all right so all we have to do today is to fix our walls onto our towers. So it doesn't matter how you do it, how wide you want. You could have your castle quite small like that, or you could have a really big one. You can decide how big you want it. And you just need to get your masking tape and put strips on to stick it on like this. And then when you've done this side, obviously, you're going to turn it over and you're going to do the same, oops, on the other side. Turn it carefully because it's still a bit wobbly with this strip of card. Right, welcome to day three of my craft. You will notice that our magnificent structure that we made yesterday is missing something and that's the battlements that go on the top and that's the bit that makes it look really castly. So we're going to have a go at doing that today. We're not going to do it in this cardboard because just because it's very hard to cut when you've got little fingers. So we're going to use some strips of thinner card, almost like thick paper, and we're going to cut the crenellations in here and then we're going to stick them to the top of our castle. Right, so you're going to use your pen and you're going to start drawing some lines. At the side, this is going to be your battlements 
up the strip like this and then you're going to get your scissors and you're just going to snip not all the way down to the bottom of the strip just that little bit so you make a kind of fringe so you can see each one is cut it doesn't cut all the way through it doesn't matter what color card you use because you're going to paint all of this over eventually so i've just used an old bit of card that i have lying around and that's fine if you want to use a bit of cereal packet but this is very thin cards so it's nice and easy to cut all right now this bit you need a little glue stick because you're going to fold down every other one and that's what's going to give our castle that lovely lovely shape and when you folded it down you're going to glue that bit down so it's tucked out of the way forever there you go and then finish your strip off like that and you can make as many of these as you need for your castle because when you've done it you're going to fix them around all the top of your castle walls Right, I've made a few of these strips and then I'm going to use my tape and I'm going to start attaching them to the top of my towers and along my castle walls. So I'm just going to use the tape, fix it round and I'm going to do some along here. Here's our castle with all its battlements, it looks fantastic. Now we're going to leave this and tomorrow we're going to paint it. Well done everybody. Okay, welcome to the next day of our craft. And we're going to paint our castle today. So you need some grey paint. So that you make that by mixing some white and some black together. And you need a paintbrush. And you're going to paint all over the tape, the battlement. Everything is going to be grey all over. Well done. See you in a minute. Okay, so paint it all over. Make sure you've got newspaper on your table or something. And then all over the tape, all over the battlements. And don't worry about the lumps and bumps, we're going to disguise them tomorrow. Keep going. Oh, that was a lot of mess, wasn't it? Right, look at our castle, it looks fantastic. I'm going to leave that to dry to tomorrow and then we're going to put some bricks on it tomorrow. Well done everybody, go and wash your hands. Hi, welcome to day five of our castle craft. So we've got our magnificent castle that's now dry. And we have some paint left over from yesterday. But what I've done is I've added some white paint into it and it's made it a lighter grey. And we've got a spoon and we've got one of these washing up sponges because we're going to print our bricks onto our castle. So first of all, use a spoon or pour some of your paint onto something a bit flat like a plate would do. That's fine. I've got a tile. And then I'm going to just take that scrubby bit off the top of my sponge because I want to use this end of my sponge to make a brick. Now, you've got to make sure that your brick is sideways, not upways. And we're going to squish it onto our castle. Next one. Let's move this out of the way. Can you see that our bricks are going on? You're leaving a little space between them, which is like the cement. And then for the next layer, you need to make sure that your brick above goes on top of the little gap that you did. There we go. Okay, here we go. And then for the next, the same way. So find your little gap and that's where you put your next one. Because we don't, don't want those lines to, we don't want to end up with a big line that goes up. That would make the, wouldn't be like a brick, it would be like a grid then. When you need more paint, just get more from your flat tray or plate where you put in your paint and you ought to cover your whole castle with your lovely bricks and this will disguise all the lumps and bumps of the tape. Keep going everyone, well done. There you go, doesn't our castle look magnificent? Now we've got one more thing left to do and that's to make a little flag. So I've got some red paper um, and I've got some scissors to cut it. I've got some glue and some toothpicks. We're gonna make a little couple of little flags and pop them on the roof and then we'll be finished so to make our flag it's really simple we're just going to make a rectangle we're going to get a toothpick and then we're going to glue this side 
and then fold this around our toothpick because that's going to be our flagpole. Okay, how easy was that? I'm going to make another one, put them both on the roof. Flap a doozy. Pop your flags on the top. And your castle is finished. That looks brilliant. Well done, you've done it.